Hello and welcome to Roll for Relaxation, the multiverse's most <laughs> monster of the week show. Monster of the I'd week. I'd like to introduce you to our keeper, Amy. Our keeper. <laughs> Take yes. it away. Yeah, so we're playing <laughs> Monster of the Week today, guys. I'm Heck so yeah. excited. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So to kind of get everyone on the same page in terms of characters, I would like, and we're going to go, you know, in a, in a circle. I think, to, I don't know if it's the same as you guys for me, but it goes Sage, Kyle, then Nick on mine. So I'm going to have you introduce your character, maybe a little bit of a description if you'd like, and then tell me what they were doing on a Friday, no, Sunday night, because we're going to start on a Monday morning. We're going to start the game on Monday morning. So yeah, what were they doing on Sunday night? And then also description. So let's start with Sage. Okay, uh, my character is named Rowan Graves. She is the spooktacular class, which means that she is kind of like, used to be like a magical performer, but now magic is actually real. And so her life has kind of been turned upside down. Um, she used to work in a circus, like a traveling kind of sideshow. Um, but once she like kind of discovered that magic was real and all this like stuff about the paranormal world was actually not a separate world, it's in our world. Um, she quit the circus and she now works in an antique store. That's kind of like antiques in the front, secret magic shop stuff in the back. So it's kind of kind of sneaky like that. Um, and she loves it. She is, I mean, she's, she's magical, but she also likes history and vintage stuff. So she's, she's vibing there. Um, on a Sunday night, she would probably be studying in the, the grimoire that she has, like trying to find, just, just learn as much as she can about magic and like researching like history and folklore. She really likes too, because a lot of the stuff that's in her grimoire, she's like noticing things from like different cultures in the past and stuff like that. Um, so she's probably at her home with some chai tea with, you know, stirring it <laughs> seven times clockwise and all that good stuff studying. Awesome. So like, um, can you describe like her, the room that she's in or at least the house that she lives in? Just curious. Yeah. Um, she lives in an apartment that's actually like above the shop. Um, oh, okay. So, mm, that yeah. makes sense. If that's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That's perfect. I was okay. just curious. I want to, I want to yeah. know like where yeah. everyone thinks their characters live. Um, yeah. so Kyle, yeah, just a little description and, and then what they were doing on Sunday night. And I'd love to hear about what his home is like. Yeah. So Rune is a monstrous, he's half fallen angel. Um, he, on a Sunday night, uh, would be watching gruesome documentaries about, like, Attila the Hun, um, these types of people, uh, in between bouts of practicing the cello, um, drinking really dark red wine, um, and just being kind of miserable. Uh, Rune is a misanthrope of sorts. Uh, he lives in a large mansion. Uh, that's filled with just a bunch of crap that he's accumulated uh, from being an immortal being. And it's kind of dusty um, in in the parts that uh, he doesn't take care of or his butler doesn't take care of. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's Rune. So he lives in a big mansion and... Uh, it's hard to get to. He's designed it specifically to be very maze-like, uh, going from the entrance to his estate, so that if someone does make their way onto his estate, they get lost and they don't make it to his house. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's very rude. Um, all right, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Same question. Imagine. Describe, imagine. Yeah like smooth jazz playing in the background or like, you know, like speakeasy jazz vibes, right? <laughs> I hate this place. I hate this city. I hate everything it stands for. I hate the people. I hate my life most of all. I hate this dingy little apartment that I've stuck in. <sighs> Great chase. Chase. Vengeance. Reduced to a 
common nobody hiding from the law. Here I am on a Sunday night, staring out the window pane to the rainy street droplets, slowly sliding down the window like, like tears, consumed, consumed by my grief. Drinking myself into a stupor with this terrible hooch. I don't even know where I got this. <laughs> That's my Sunday night. Monday morning, it's going to be pounding. Going to head after, head out and hit the pavement. His vengeance doesn't wait for anybody. Fantastic. So does, um, does Chase Vengeance live in his, like, um, PI studio? Yeah, it's all he's got. <laughs> Can't afford an apartment. <laughs> Is there like a futon awesome. under his desk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> he just yeah, sleeps in his good. chair, so threadbare. Just oh, kicks his feet up on the desk, puts his head back. Most nights he just drinks himself to sleep. Don't matter. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. Fedora okay. down over the down over the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and he wears a fedora, perfect. Oh yeah. Um, Bundle myself up in my trench coat. So, Monday morning, Rune wakes up, his butler walks, Birthsby, walks in with a tray, you know, he has the breakfast in bed for Rune, and uh, he's going to pull out of his pocket an old Nokia phone, like the brick phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me, my lord, it seems you have a message on one of your burner phones. I'll leave this for you with your breakfast I made for you. And it's like a little, it's like a, two eggs with the bacon and it turns into a smile on top of the pancake. <laughs> uh, Rune flips it to a frown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> better turn that frown upside down. <laughs> One of these days I'll change you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived uh, millennia. It's not going to happen. Oh, I won't discount you yet. Oh, oh, oh. And he's gonna walk. He's gonna walk out, holding his back with his little cane, just chuckling to himself. He's a nice old man. Mm. I hope. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so on your Nokia phone, you're going to see the the message SDA. Period. Now. Period. Urgent. Period. Show up with expert on magical object objects or don't show up at all. P.S. We have a new location, and there's a linked address. And then I'm going to have us quickly go to Chase. And there's an alert that goes off on his monitoring devices. It seems. Oh, we can't hear you. Ring, 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 ring. Yeah, Got your old, monitoring old device yeah. goes off. <laughs> it seems Rowan. Received a text message. Uh, this frickin' chump again. Oh, I thought I could just get about him for a while. All right. Uh, I gotta head down to the SDA, figure out what's going on here. Yeah. You, you actually got one too, but yours is like a Blackberry phone. It's an old one. I don't know why <laughs> yours is different. It's like, for some reason, this like... Supernatural Defense Agency didn't have a lot of money, so all their stuff is like really old. It's the government, so you know that's how it works. Um, but yes, you both you fangled for me are needed at the SDA, but you need to make sure that you bring a magical items expert. So I think we're gonna start with that. I'm trying to think of how to get you two together, but I. <laughs> Uh, well, well, <laughs> well, he's following me, right? So he is following you, and right. I'm, I'm like assuming. A van I'm, I'm gonna look at the alert. I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> "Oh man, Rune, what are you doing?" All right, I'm gonna just grab my fedora off. No, wait, I have my fedora over my eyes. I'm gonna rub my eyes, um, freaking head. I'm gonna pop a couple pills, chase it with some hooch, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just. Out the door, just in my clothes, as I was. Smack the microphone. All right. All right. And, uh, uh, Rune will look at the text message and he'll go, oh, Rune, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you could just, man, what would be more work? Killing these people, all of them, 
We're just doing a couple missions for him. Ugh, I guess the missions. He, he, in his rage, though, he'll throw his Nokia against the wall. It'll hit the wall and bounce back and hit him in the forehead. <laughs> These things are indestructible. <laughs> uh, he, he'll walk through the hall uh, after putting on some Bach and start looking uh, at the things in his mansion. And he comes across a, a painting um, of himself uh, in a battle uh, where he's bisecting a soldier uh, with a greatsword. Uh, and it reminds him of an antiquarian who once begged him, begged him for this piece of art. And he's like, oh, she's the only one I can think of. Birdsby, Birdsby. Yes, my lord. Do you remember that woman, Roma, who wanted this? What was her name? Oh, yes. Let me look through my notebook here. Of all the people you know. Oh, it's a short list. Oh, let's see. Uh, Rowan. Uh, she will ask me. One second. One second. Graves. Rowan Graves from Hexquisite Finds, my lord. Do you need her address? Would you like me to drive you there? Yes, please. All right, I'll fire up the old jalopy. And by that, I mean a very expensive car. Um, yeah, so he's going to get one of the cars ready and uh, chauffeur you to Hexquisite Finds. And I assume Chase is not too far behind as he's trailing. Yeah, Chase. <laughs> Chasing. On a bicycle. <laughs> ding, ding. Chasing. On a what do you have, like, a motorcycle? Like one of the old school, like... B- b- oh, yeah. What is yeah. this monitoring vehicle? Yeah, it's a monitoring vehicle. Uh, I think it's like a beat up old, like, uh, Ford Fairmont or something like that, you know? Like an old police cruiser decommissioned, oh, basically, yeah. but like yeah, yeah. on its last legs, oh, you know? It. Yeah. Just falling apart. Not especially Amazing. inconspicuous, but also it's a piece mm. of crap, so... Yeah. I feel like... Just based on like the previous role, I I don't know if Rune even noticed that there was anything trailing him. Plus, Chase is, I guess, really good at his job. Or maybe right. should we roll to see if if uh, Rune or Birdsby notices that there's this car following? Sure, sure, yeah. Um, it's not hers. What? Both of you roll a d twenty, and we'll see who's is higher. Okay, just like that. Roll a d twenty. Um... Oh, right smack dab in the middle. 11. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, so yeah, Rune notices that there's this old police car that's been following him their, their whole way to uh, Exquisite Finds. Does he even, like, what does he think about that? Um, Birdsby, um, when we stop, could you dispose of some trash and... The car behind us, there's one trailing us. Oh, of course, sir. Of course. Standard protocol. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, you guys pull up to Hexquisite Finds. And of course, Chase stops, you know, like two cars down. And uh, yeah. Rusty opens the uh, car. Walk back. He, he opens the door for Rune. And then he starts to walk towards Chase's car. Chase, you see an old man walking your way with a cane. I'm just going to look casual, just smoking. I don't have time for this. Uh, sir, may I? Uh, oh, can you help me? I must have dropped something. Uh, can you pick it up for me? I'm just an old man. I need, I need help. Just get out of your car for a moment. Squinted out the old man standing by my window. He was pretty nondescript, but my head was still pounding. I didn't really feel like moving, let alone getting out of the car to help this man get whatever he needed off the ground. Hey, mister, I don't know what you think I am, but this ain't no charity. Now scram. Are you, did you get out of the car? No. <laughs> no. Oh, well, is that how you treat the elderly? And he's going to take his cane and he's going to smash the window shield. There, take that. This is what you get for following cars. 
<laughs> and being rude to the elderly. <laughs> and then he's going to be like, ah, 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 and he's going to walk back up to the. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, mister. <laughs> yeah, I got to get out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sonny. What are you going to, you going to pay for that? What do you think? You, you want gonna... another lesson, young man? I'm not too old to teach you one. <laughs> Look, grandpa, I, I think you're confused. I think you better go back to wherever you came from, because I got, we got nothing. I got, like, just walk away, Grandpa, walk away. And oh. I'm put my hand on my, just towards my, my holster, you know. Threatening me! Ah! And he's gonna, he's gonna try and use his cone, <laughs> ca- cane, to, uh, to take your feet out to knock you down. Oh but unfortunately, it's just gonna kind of hit your leg a little bit, like, because he's not all that strong. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah, after right. he fails, yeah. All right, all right, all right, old man, all right. I don't know, we got off on the wrong leg here. The one you just hit. Let's try this again. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, you just watch yourself. <laughs> Trailing the wrong car. I don't know what you're trailer, doing trailer. here. <laughs> I was just minding my own You business. promise me you'll not... On. Be better, Sonny. What, what hey, turn it? down your gain just a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I do this wrong every time. Is that better? Or... Uh, it depends. Is that better? We'll, we'll wait until loud. you yell. And then we'll... Okay. I feel like Sorry. it might be louder. I think, I think it's a little louder. bit more, actually. Yeah, okay, how about now? Yeah, Is that's better. Yeah, that's that better. Okay. better. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, um, now, what, what brings an old man like you to a place like this anyway? This ain't no place for... Grandpa. Oh, well, I'm not too old to be hip. I'm going to the this Hexquisite Finds. It's where I find Hexquisite Finds. <laughs> I brought my nephew here. Oh, your nephew, eh? Yes. What? I like how, like, this is a bad neighborhood. This is antiques dealers, man. Bad oh, business. yeah. So the, <laughs> to, to explain the area, sorry. It's just like, you know, a small town, uh, town center. You know how, uh, I don't know if you've seen a small town town center where it's just like a strip of old buildings, mm. you know? Yeah, so it's kind of like that. And they're just like a family owned business. And, you know, you look in the the window of Hexquisite Finds and you just see just, it's a metaphysical store. So it has just so many random things. I mean, you have, you have like the crystals and the candles and you even have weird oddities, mostly antique stuff. You have like stuffed Stuff rats with little hats on them. Just weird stuff. Yeah. I designed yeah. that myself. <laughs> yes. I'm dabbling in taxidermy. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, Looking so that's, where, that's As, where we're at. Yeah, well, never mind. Um, all right, all right, all right. Why don't I take you back to your nephew, wherever he is here? Oh, right. you'd like to meet my nephew. He's a good boy. Come on, I'll show you. And he he's like waves you at this way as he mm-hmm. walks towards uh rune i've i've already gone into the shop oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes um uh so when you walk into the shop you're going to be greeted by a woman you should be like um hello hello welcome to exquisite finds my name is sophia caputo and i am the, in long island's number one medium i just want to let you know we have a sale today on all oddities and weirdities and also we have a 20 minute two sorry 20 dollar one card tarot poll and then it goes up to 50 dollars if you want three polls but anything other than that the price is going to go up and it depends on what you're looking for so is there anything you're looking for today i can help I... you out Yes, um, I'm looking for a woman, Ramona Gripes, I think is her name, something like that. Ramona Gripes, oh, that might have been one of my previous employees. Rowan, Rowan, can you come here for a second? Oh, coming, yes, what what can I do for you? Oh, yes, this is, this is the woman, yes, thank you, and I push Sophia aside. Mr. Dean, <laughs> it's wonderful to see you again. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you in this place again. Yes, uh, here, come with me, and and I uh, grab your arm and lead you out of the store. Oh, yes, yes, of course. But uh, Sophia, this was the person who lives in that big mansion. You know, I told you about that, that brought in all those things. Oh, this is going to be quite uh, fun. Are you? 
Uh, you still have like eight hours to go. It's Monday morning just started. If you're going with this guy, don't come back without any... I mean, we're going to need some... You know what I'm talking about? Get some, yeah, yeah. Squeeze yeah. some out of him. Of course, yes, yes. Of course. Okay, good. All right, fine. I'll take care of the store today. All right. <laughs> Yeah, um, and... my my butler will compensate you for her time or whatever. Oh, will, will I get compensated too? Because I'm probably not going to get a paycheck if I'm not working. You're going to pay my wages for the day. She, if if I'm paying her, she should pay. It don't work. Yes. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's fine. You know what? It's it, whatever you want. That's fine. Perfectly fine. All right. <laughs> so I I drag you out of the store. Um, mm -hmm. And w when we come out of the store, what do we see? with the other uh, situation <laughs> i think at this point i think you just see Bertsby showing chase to the door i think he's they were basically almost at the door you wouldn't have witnessed the assault hey, Bertsby, does your uh, grandpa i told him oh, look who it is just like you said i took care of him he and now he wants to meet you okay man broke wants all the to windows meet you? The this car. cheater Ugh, he stepped over the line in bowling last weekend. Ridiculous. Oh, Absolutely. He he got a spare and it made his team win and it was completely, completely bogus. It was absolutely, absolutely legit. It just no, so it was not. That... There is a line that you're not supposed to cross and you crossed it. Mr. Yeah, yeah, but... Vengeance, is that your need? I, 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 as long as the toe does not cross the line, the rest of the body can do whatever it wants. All right. That's I'm the fairly rules. certain that I saw a toe. I saw that too, crossing that line. Yes, I did. Bullshit. <laughs> Everyone, would you like to come into my limo? Uh, he gets in and he opens up a giant whiskey cabinet. Wait, who, who are you? What's going on? Uh, I'll just bring back your old man here. Your uncle, your grandpa, whatever. There's I things... think somebody owes me for those windows. All right. Yes, step in. We'll discuss it. Uh, I think I'm good right here. Thanks, though. Yeah, um, you, you got any? You got any Jameson in there? Uh, you, uh, no, we don't keep trash. Oh. In the whiskey bar. Oh, well. Wait, I'm sure. I'm sure he got something. That's fine. Did you? Um, did you say you had something to show me? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, please get in. Uh, and I, I pull Birdsby aside. Birdsby. Um, you said on your CV that you were former SAS, uh, and that you could dispose of people. Is is that not true? Did oh, you lie? Oh, it is. Any moment longer with this man, he we would have need to call an ambulance for him. For him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> while, while this is going on, I've been just peering through the door, checking out the whiskey bar. What you got going in there? Rowan's glaring at you. Got some. Uh, Pretty fine stuff in here. That's uh. Wait, where where do you say we're going? Why why am I coming with you? <laughs> <laughs> I can I kick? Uh, so are you fully in my vehicle? I like leaning in. Sure. Okay, I would like to try <laughs> to open like get out one of the the doors and kick him into the car, uh, and and like shut the door. Is that gonna be um, what what role would that be? Um, tough. Yeah, we'll just roll. We'll just roll tough because this isn't like um, you're not trying to hurt him or anything. So mm -hmm. just roll tough. Yeah, and if and if Chase wants to resist it, then he can roll as well against. But oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> no. Just at all. I, no, what happens at all. instead? What happens you just instead? Just kick me at the butt and I just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> What? Who are you people? Why were you following me? I'm trying to abduct you. Be a good little boy and let me abduct you. I want to figure out why you were following me. He's, he's strong like a bull, I tell you. <laughs> Listen, I don't know who you two clowns are. I'm just here looking for some... I glance back at the window. Taxidermy. Yeah. I'm out shopping for some taxidermy this morning. And this guy just comes up and starts wailing on my car. He deserves but, uh, it. Yeah, after 10 turns, you have to realize it's suspicious. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I don't know who we are, but... You know, right. we do have a sale going on on all of the oddities. That would include the taxidermy. I just finished this new little rat. I named him Willard. It's very, very cute. You can see it right in the window over there. Mm-hmm. Is he wearing an outfit? Oh, yes, yes. He's got a little a little hat on, and I made him a little broomstick, too, out of toothpicks. Mm-hmm. He's got a little cauldron. I made he's, it out uh, of clay. He's, he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. Thank you. You still cheated at bowling. But I'm oh, glad God. that you have good taste in, in taxidermy. Oh, and who, who is this guy? Where, where are you headed anyway? Are you pointing to me or Bertsby? Yeah, sorry, that's you. I'm pointing <laughs> to Rune. It's none of your business. And so well, but not my business. You just tried to abduct me in your car. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> going to kill you. So now that that failed, I'll let you live. Go on your merry way. I still expect you to pay me for those windows. Okay. <laughs> Give your information to Birdsby. Birdsby's going to go down as if he's going to grab his checkbook. And then he's going to pull out a gun. He's like, <laughs> get in the car. I told you, I do have SA. SA is history. Get in the car, Chase. Chase, mister. Oh, whoa. whoa Rune asked grandpa. you very nice. My nephew asked you very nicely to get in the car. And I'm going to make sure that happens. Oh, Goodness gracious, I think we should all just calm down a bit, Ari. You know, why Why don't we just settle this all over a nice glass of whiskey over here? This is not oh, how I expected that does this sound morning nice. to go. But Rowan, who, who are these friends of yours? Well, I... I Strange I company say, you keep. I, I wouldn't say that they're friends, exactly. You know, uh, Mr. Dune here, he brought some interesting things into my shop, and I would absolutely love more than anything to... Uh, get into that mansion of his and take it and look around. Just, you know, things that he said he doesn't need anymore. I've been sending him lots of fruit baskets and he's never responded, but that's fine. So you're telling me you might have some uh, top quality taxidermy that he wants to get rid of? Uh, uh, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure about the taxidermy, actually, Mr. Mister Reed, but um, he, he's got quite a lot of antiques and things like that for the shop. Yes, uh, I do. Anyway, I'm on a bit of a time crunch, uh, so I need to get going. Um, All right, what the hell? I'm in. Let's go. You're, you're oh, in? I'm okay, well, so <laughs> I'm not glad sure they didn't have to result to violence. Okay. <laughs> it's never what I ask for. I never want violence, you know. A nice glass of whiskey sounds much better than a shot to the head, so why oh, don't you yes. get in the limo? It was unloaded anyway. Very well why spoken. <laughs> You know, I know better than that. <laughs> okay, All right, Rowan so scoots another way. Yeah, I'm going to debrief you, Rowan. And Chase, was that your name? Uh, Chase, yeah. yeah. You, after hearing this, you are under top, top secret. Swear to God and the devil that you'll never tell anyone or lots of people will kill you level of secrecy. That's what's going on here. So oh um, my. you can what? jump out of the car or hear this. Your choice. Um, so, uh, Ravina. Um, sure. You, I work for an organization. Uh called the SPD, the Supernatural Protection <laughs> Defense, I think. <laughs> no, It's the uh, Supernatural Defense that. Agency, sir. Very uh, close, S though. The SPA? <laughs> okay. Um, SDA. Oh, I think that would be SDA, SDA sir. <laughs> Whatever. It's all very dumb. Anyway, uh, I... <sighs> I'm required to get a magic item specialist with me, uh, someone who knows ancient magical bullshit. Um, and I, I got Ooh. the sense that you working in the shop would be like the closest thing that I could find to that. Well, I would hardly call it bullshit. But um, yeah, I, I, I do have, you know, quite a bit of knowledge of those sorts of things. I've been studying quite a lot. We get, we get um, some very interesting exquisite items at the shop so yes I've, I've done quite a bit of studying wait 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 you work for the SDA and yes you gotta get a magical item specialist mm -hmm. what are the chances <laughs> I mean I got like one in a million I guess eh? uh, you know what 
I'm looking for the exact same thing for the exact same people. What? You two work together? Guess we do now. Oh, God. I thought it smelled like Ooh. Hunter in here. <laughs> I'm just uh, going to town on that whiskey bar. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. This is um, yeah. shaping up to be quite the Monday morning. Guess we better head down to the office and see what we're in for. Yeah. Sounds okay, good. Okay, so Bertsby is going to chauffeur you all to the location that was sent. Um, let's see if that worked. Hey. It's okay. Looks good. If, it's yeah. okay if you laugh, guys. No, it's great. It's no, fantastic. it looks good. Oh, all these hay bale errors are hard. To, to they don't have, so they don't have any modern stickers. They don't have modern stickers. <laughs> No, they and don't. So, it's all it's all like just you know, imagine fantasy stuff. <laughs> yeah, imagine that this is um, non fantasy. Yes, very so, good. Very good. The the address for the, is for the blockbuster. Blockbuster, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah. What what yeah. year is this taking place? Two thousand twenty three. Nice. Okay. It's the last blockbuster piece. in America. <laughs> so is this place still open we thought it closed quite a while ago all right i'm gonna i go up to the door and i, I pull a an old looking vhs tape out of my pocket and i shove it in the return slot and i do a special <laughs> knock <laughs> oh my uh no one replies um but it's like two double doors, you know, like the clear double doors that you could just open up, like the store. Um, so you could just walk in. I mean, you see, you see through. There's like aisles and aisles of DVDs. Sorry, and it's I been a while like... since I've been in the office here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a new location, so you might not be aware of this. This. Uh, can, can we yet. try just just pull in the door? Yeah. There, there's a sign that says pull. Do you think it's locked? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pull the door open. <laughs> um, you pull the left door and it doesn't open, and then you notice there's a sign that says "Please use the right door." Okay. <laughs> and then you pull it open, and it opens. <laughs> um. Anyway, and then you walk in, and yeah, it's completely empty. I mean, yeah, again, rows and rows of DVDs. Um, there's like a there's a. a picks like favorite employees picks section you know which is pretty fun and yeah no one in there but there is one employee at the cashier station and he looks very surprised very surprised um he looks a little weird too kind of like his skin doesn't fit on his frame um he just he looks like the guy from um uh what is the movie men of love blanking um, Hellraiser. No, the thing that the SDA is based off of, but the alien one. Men in Black. Smith. Men in Black, thank you. Yeah. You know the weird insect creature? Yeah, the, the, the bug guy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So oh. it's kind of like that. I mean, he's not dirty like that man, but his skin doesn't quite fit like that man. So yeah, that's what he looks like. And he looks very surprised and he's staring at you three. Do, uh, does Nicker Eye's character know who this guy is? No, this is a new location. Neither of us have been into this one before, I guess. No. Uh, I'll take out my Nokia uh, and show him the text. He still stares at you. Habla inglés. He's going to open his mouth wide and he's like, ah! and let out this weird, like, screeching sound. Oh, um, hey, Mr. Bancy. And he's gonna start like start to and grow a little bit. Um, and in this moment, it feels as though you're about to get into a fight because um, he's transforming into some sort of weird insect creature. But out of nowhere, out of the anime section that has like beads, you know, he's gonna come out of the anime section. He's like, "All right, calm down, Jerry." He's just <laughs> sorry, sorry. And by the way, Chase and um, Rune would recognize this as Hank McSteel. 
He's the chief of the SDA. <laughs> You're like, calm down, Jerry. You're just a three. We have, well, two hunters and someone else. Uh, don't Dang. bother. What the hell is all this? Me. Sorry. He just, he's a, he's on blockbuster duty. And he, he got in trouble, so he's on it for the next three months. He made I, fun I of my name. He said it sounded like a stripper name. So three months. Sounds blockbuster like a porn duty. name. You're lucky you don't work here day to day. <sighs> I, I agree with that, yes. He's just a little upset because we do generally have uh, emitter rays that make it so nobody could see us. It's irrelevance in emitter rays so that nobody sees the blockbuster. But it, let's just, let's go to the Wendy's next door. I'm on my, I worked through my lunch break, so I'm pretty hungry. So follow me, and I'll just do your debrief in there. And bring the, whoever that is, the girl. And, um, um, I could go for a burger and a shake. A frosty. It, it, sorry to disturb you, Mr. Jerry. Uh, but, but, uh, hope we didn't I'm get off on the wrong foot. Hank thing. McSteel. No, I'm, I'm talking to the, the guy behind the... the oh, the you're talking to the... Oh, oh, yes. I'm um, going to talk to Terry. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, sorry. Um, okay. He gives you, like, a little, like, a little bug, like... <laughs> he said, basically, uh, he says you're just fine. He said it's fine. He also asked you on a date. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, um, I think I'm busy. <laughs> um, yes. As, so... as we leave, uh, Rune will pick up Ken Burns' Civil War, and he's like, "I'm taking this." <laughs> <laughs> as you walk out, you hear the bug screech. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to do that. It's like uh, a dragon with his horde. <laughs> Don't <tell> yeah. <laughs> he was very angry by that. Um, yes, so you walk next door to the Wendy's, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but this world is like like our world, but just a little bit different, obviously. So this Wendy's is a little bit different. You know, it looks like say, the normal Wendy's that has the same logo and everything but they're known for different things like this wendy's is known for um their chili cheese tacos and their meatball wraps um so yeah um hank is gonna walk up to the register and he's a little flustered because the old you know the old woman he seems to be flustered by the old woman at the register um, he's like, <clears throat> hello, ma'am, I'd like my usual. And, um, this woman, she looks like, um, Jamie Curtis's character, uh, in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Yeah. She's just, <laughs> yeah, just very disillusioned by life. And she'd be like, I don't know your usual. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Heidi. I, <laughs> I come here almost every day. <laughs> Just, you're be- you look beautiful today, by the way. I love my two meatball wraps with extra sauce. And I was curious if um, if you were free Friday night or something. No, I'm working. Who's next? Uh, hey, I'll, I'll have one of your, one of your square burgers and uh, given me with a barrel of black mud. Barrel of black mud, square burger. Would you like that with extra square? Square as you can make it. Okay, extra square. Okay, who else? Um, do, do you have anything on the menu that's vegan? Vegan. Uh, hey, do we have anything on the menu that's vegan? We got wilted lettuce. All right. Do you want a cup of wilted lettuce? <laughs> um, are, are the fries cooked in vegetable oil, or is it? Uh, would that be? Vegan Honey, vegan? they do not pay me enough to know exactly what kind of oil that they fry their fries in. You know what? I'll just have a water. That's fine. All right, a water. Okay. And for you, sir. Um. Are, so are there any kids around who are just, like, yelling too much? Yeah, there's actually a family that walked in behind you. Um, the parents are on their phones and the kids are screaming. They're running in a circle. <laughs> I'll I'll just like slyly, uh, like as they run by, like my hand will brush one of them, and I just want to suck a little life out of them. 
just a little bit of vitality, <laughs> just to make it a little more calm in here. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> Yeah, the kid immediately just kind of gets really tired. He's like, Mom, I'm tired. I want to go home. Where's the iPad? <laughs> Nothing for me. I'm stuffed. <laughs> All right, fine. Would you like to stuffed with extra square? Uh, no, I don't want the slop here. Please, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about our special, the extra stuffed. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, all right. And I presume you're buying Hank. He's like, oh uh, yes, yes. I have lots of money, and um, you know he's <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna um, pay, and uh, then he's gonna usher you guys over to like one of the booths. Um, he, he looks, you know, he's a little dejected, but he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, <laughs> con- rally. pose himself, he's gonna rally, and pull out a briefcase and slam it onto the table, and open it up. Alright, I called you today because we have a mission in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the name of the town is Nowhere, and there seems to be an issue with corn. The local authorities, we were able to look at their records. It seems um, there was indeed some weird supernatural activity. We did get a ping on our supernatural activity machines. Um, So we took a look, we sent a drone, and we have the picture. And I see, let me see if I can share the picture. Or if I'm just going to have to. Did that work? Uh, Okay, I think I might have to tell it. Oh, sorry. I have to tell it who to show it to. One second. Uh, Sneaky. If you drive... Or if you bring it in uh, into your art library, you should be able to. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So this is the picture of the farm that I'm speaking of. There was an incident, and part of their crops were wilted. You see here I used red Sharpie, and I did <laughs> make out some sort of symbol. Now, I'm no expert on demonic symbols, that's why I hire you all to do that job for me. So I figured you could give me a little insight. And I think I'm gonna, so I want Rune to do um, like a sharp check because this is something he would know. All right, character sheet. Um, okay, sharp. Yeah, so you immediately recognize that this is the demonic symbol for greed and, like, just riches and stuff like that. Gluttony sort of thing. I think because you rolled so well, I think you could just notice that it's also, like, mammon is the, like, very specific demonic symbol that it is. Uh, Like, it belongs to a person named mammon, or the symbol is called mammon? No, it belongs to a person... Yeah, sorry, sorry. The demon mm-hmm. that it represents is Mammon, yeah. Right. Um, is this demon a fallen angel? Or are they one of the watchers? Amy wouldn't know that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the symbol, it means greed, uh, like hunger, um, gluttony. Mm-hmm. Um, belongs to a demon named Mammon, I believe. Um Probably my uncle or something. Um. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice magical mumbo jumbo you got there, but you got somebody for me to find. Well, we're just that's magic the thing. Crap. We aren't sure who or what did this. There wasn't any reports of anyone who was hurt or dead, just wilted crops. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have you three go to the farm and take a look. 
figure out what's going on. The uh, farm people, they don't know anything about Supernatural, so um, I have some IDs for you. You're going to pretend to be scientists. Biology scientists or something like that. You can make up the title you want. Just pretend you know stuff about corn. Corn. Corn don't experts. Know shit about corn. Whatever, just give me the thing. Let's go. Come on. Boots right, on the well, ground. Let's see what here's we can the do. case. Here are some papers on, like, I don't know. They tested the corn and they found, they couldn't figure out what sort of biological thing it was. Obviously, it was not some sort of fungus. So, there's the reports on those. We hacked the police station for that. And uh, here are the directions to the farm. All right, now, uh, one last question, Hank. Does job pay good? <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to smoke in the Wendy's. Right, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know if Heidi notices. She's too busy working. I think getting the, getting her extra square ready. Um, uh, does it pay? Does it pay? I don't pay you to ask questions. That's what I pay. No, you literally do pay me to ask and answer <laughs> questions. Actually. I'm, I'm, All right, smart mouth. Okay. I'll have Shelly, my HR person, send you the, how much we're going to pay you. But only if you do it right. And if these people find out that you're supernatural people, then I'm going to dock your pay because we're going to have to boop, blitz them. Oh, that means we're right. raising their memories. I, I'm and, sure that we can figure it out. Oh, no, no. I, we'll, we'll be all right. Um, am, am I getting paid as well? I mean, I'm going on the job, right? I'm yeah. not proud of your little fancy organization, but, you know, yes. I'm going to be putting time into here. You're getting like paid, it. but it's split. It's split oh. between the three of you. Oh, uh, all right. I bill by the hour, you know that, Hank. <laughs> Don't try and pull fast one on me. <laughs> what? Damn. Fine, fine, fine. You got me there. Okay, Shelly, she'll work out the pay. I don't deal with that stuff, okay? It's not my job. All right. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on. I'm waiting for my burger. <laughs> Heidi's like, order up. We got an extra square burger with a bucket of sludge. And you got two meatball sub wraps and extra stuff. <laughs> Stuffed. <laughs> Stuffed. <laughs> and a nothing cup of water. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, don't spill the sludge on the <laughs> carpet of the limo, please. Walking in a black you... mud. It's not sludge. It's chocolate. You want some? Yeah, I'll try some. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. pretty good. Um, I feel like, I don't know if Bert's, if he's going to, would Bert's become with you guys? Would he chauffeur or would you guys take a different car? I have my cool magic van. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I would offer to drive my car, but uh, somebody smashed all the windows out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I've, I've, I've got plenty of room in my van. Yeah, it's got lots of different supplies and things, too. So, you know, it would probably be a good thing. What, is it like a fucking mystery machine? Oh, well, I don't think it's quite as cool as that, but um, it has got lots of, it's got my crystals and it's got all of my different smudge and things and I've got my Avalon shell in there and, and there's some, some uh, beads and walk. things like that. Get it all All right, let's go. Uh, it's not really that bad. It's got, it's got a shag carpet too. It's quite fun and I put some rope lights around on the inside. All right. <laughs> as long as I can eat my burger. Let's go. Birds. Birds, we get the cleaning supplies. <laughs> yes, yes, my lord. Well, that was cleaning supplies. Uh, yeah, it, it, when we get to your van, um, I'm, I'm gonna have Birds be like spray essential oils around, do a deep cleaning of just the spot where Rune is gonna sit, <laughs> um, and and uh Bert's beat is coming along and he's going to be carrying a lot of luggage yeah yeah and he he puts like a handkerchief like a silk handkerchief on the seat <laughs> all nicely before rune sits down it's yeah. like i don't use my own essential oils in my car Ugh, fine <laughs> fantastic yeah so um i'm not going to do i'm not going to do too, 
too much with like the trip from the SDA to the farm, but I will have one of you roll a d20 just to see how the trip goes, like if there's any issues. If it's like a one, obviously your car breaks down, but if it's a 20, it just goes perfect, no issue. You guys get along. Okay. Over at Sage, near the driver, yeah. after all. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's see how often you get that oil. Oh change. my god. Okay. I should not have been the window for Wow. Um, <laughs> hmm. Let me decide. What happens here? Let me think. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, so. <laughs> you probably. Told you we should have walked. You Jesus. probably upset the balance of all of the different essential oils by bringing your own. I told you I had it covered. Yeah, you just, you got a flat tire. You, you turned on the music. Um, what was that? What was the music, like the CD that was in the car or the mystery machine at the time? Uh, Florence and the Machine. Yeah. One of the old ones. Somebody yeah. in the car took, like, they really didn't like that. And you were arguing. <laughs> and you accidentally, we do not you know, interrupt Florence in this car. It, it car. has no climax. It has no build. <laughs> It's a vibe. You're going with the vibe. Uh, is the vibe shitty instrumentation? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the tire blew out, but thankfully there is a spare. But whoever changes the tire, I'm going to have them roll act under pressure to see how well they do. Oh, no. Yeah. Which one is act under pressure? Is that... Uh, there actually should just be an act under pressure... Roll button. plus cool. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah, so there is like a... At the top, let me... That? One second. Let me see your sheet real quick. Loading. Yep. Oh, Hunter moves cool. reference. There it is. There you there go. Plus, exactly. You do what I had it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so... Yeah, I suppose Rowan is... Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's probably... Top. I mean, like, she was in a circus. She's pretty handy with... Oh, absolutely. ...fixing stuff, so... Okay. <laughs> I say that, knowing that I just rolled a one, but... Oh, yeah, which you can mark experience, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, we'll yeah. say that counts. And then Rune... Oh, okay. Rune Great. has one experience, I think. Nice. Great, yeah, I Rune just got too. another one. Actually, okay, wait. Before... Okay, really? Actually. Before we take this failure, <laughs> oh, you have a six. If someone rolls help out and they roll well enough, this could actually make it a non-failure. So is anyone helping Rowan change the tire? All right. All right. Uh, let's do this. God damn. I'm going to get out. I'm going to roll. Cool. So you roll, oh, cool. roll help out. Oh, I roll help so out. So there should be just like a help out button. Uh, under, the second under one. moves a reference. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should be able to find it. Where would it be? It's just above, like, Other charm. Moves? Yeah. It's it's oh, yeah, a little me, area. You might need to... Thing, yeah. you might oh, need Hunter to moves. I have to it. pop it open. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pop it. Got it. Got it. Uh, Hopefully you have better luck rolling than I do. Okay. Yeah. So, that's, so that does work that brings up to a seven okay <laughs> but it is mixed success so you 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 change the tire but it's it's one of those like temporary ones mm -hmm. yeah you know you got to keep your spares inflated you can't just leave them for years and years they deflate yeah, <sighs> yeah. so as you're driving it's kind of like <laughs> because it's just not it doesn't quite fit yeah so <laughs> that's that's uh Rowan turns off the radio. Like... She's mad. Oh, <laughs> is there anything... you don't get Florence. <laughs> anything else that happens during the the car ride? There is about a two hour car ride into the from the city somewhere to the city nowhere. Spill, uh, oh. Because of the bumpy ride, I spill a little bit of my milkshake into <gasps> no. the shag carpet, but uh. I don't want her to see. I just kind of grind it in with my shoe, <laughs> <laughs> my boot. <laughs> She'll never know. It's gonna Rowan... so bad. It is. Oh my gosh. She's going to hate you later. Um, Rowan would probably ask Rune more about this demon, like anything that he knows about Ma Manon. Mammon. 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 Yeah. Yeah, she'd probably like drill him with a gazillion questions. Yeah, I don't know what Rune knows. Do, does he know what type of like face or animal features this guy might have? Yeah. Oh uh, this is ma ma mammon, mammon, ma ma'am, 
Mammon. Mammon, ma'am. Yeah, so you would know Mammon. that Mammon. it's a <laughs> biblical term for riches, and it was used to describe debasing influence of material wealth. Um, medieval writer, writers interpreted it as an evil demon. Um, there is a sermon by Jesus in his famous Mount Sermon on the Mount mm. that has to do with it. Yeah, that's what. That's what we know. Me associated with greed and all that. Yeah, I think there's a reasonable chance this guy is associated with organized crime here in the city. Maybe some gang relations. Yeah, as you say that. Um, for the past 20 minutes, um, the only thing you've been driving by is just like corn and cow fields and just fields and fields of nothing because we're really in a rural area. Yeah. So that crime syndicate, for sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you arrive on the farm and let's, I have a little map for that too. This is our farm here. And on the bottom right, you pull up to a really nice looking house. Um, more like, you know, like the country, like new money mm -hmm. country house. So it's like old, it's an older house, but it's been renovated so much, it, you know, bright white, just like fresh um, landscaping and everything. And, um, as you pull up uh, this dirt road, a woman comes out of her, you know, shutters, country door shutters, and uh, greets you. She's waving. I don't. I assume you guys haven't gotten out of the car yet, so she's I'm just kind of like waving. Um, hello, y'all are. Um, I I got a call from the police office that some scientists were coming over. Yes. Yes, yes, that's us. Hello, we're here to um, take a look around and, and see if we can determine what sort of caused this thing, all right? Oh, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about at all. We just want to make sure that, um, that everything's going to be all right and it won't be, you know, some sort of bacteria or infection that might infect the rest of the crops. Right, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I, I can't even explain how grateful I am that y'all are here. Um, they came... Well, it happened a few days ago, and they said that they couldn't figure out what it was. And, you know, I don't want the rest of our crops to die, so I'm just really worried. And thank y'all for being here. Oh, it's perfectly understandable, ma'am. It's all right. We're, we'll take good care of you, okay? We'll make sure that everything's all right. I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about, but they did call us because we're the specialists, so I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it. All right, I'll leave you science -y. Folks, to, to your stuff, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be in the kitchen prepping for supper, so. All right, hey, we'll uh, let you know. I have a question, ma'am. Oh, yeah, of course. You have anybody who uh, wants you dead or anybody have a reason wants to... Wants me dead? Oh, gods, no, of course not. Uh, we're just upstanding citizens. Oh, <laughs> She wouldn't say God's. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> just whatever. We'll keep going. Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, we're just, yeah, upstanding citizens. Yeah, no enemies. No enemies that would do this, eh? None at all. Not at all. Or were business did associates. And you didn't see anyone do anything, eh? No. I mean, I don't know how anyone could have done this since, I mean, the corn itself is not like burned or anything and the police they said that you know it, it was probably a fungus or something like that D did it just happen overnight or was it where is it during the day oh yes well my husband walter and i we you know abigail put my daughter i put her to bed and then the next morning ethan uh, he's our farm hand came running in banging on our door saying the corn, the corn's gone bad, the corn's gone bad, and this is how we found it. Hmm. All right, well, thank you for letting us know. We'll, we'll let you know if we have any other questions, all right? Oh, absolutely. All right, we're going to head over, and I'd like to 
search for clues. I don't know what that would be here. Yeah, investigate, investigate a mystery. Yeah, investigate a mystery. Yeah, so you're just standing in front of their house, standing in front of the cornfields, and then go ahead and investigate a mystery. Yeah, I'd like to go take a look at the corn stalks, just to see like yeah. physically what has happened, what do they look like. So I guess, uh, would that be a what happened here? And I'm gonna... Um, yeah, roll so just on just it. roll just roll investigate a mystery and then depending yeah. on what you roll, you get to ask a question maybe two. Uh right, okay. Right, right, right. Although, um I didn't I don't remember what your hunter moves are. You might have like a special move that makes yeah, probably it easy do. for you to Let me see. investigate. Let me see. Uh not that one. Not that one. Probably not that one. So no, I don't think I do. <laughs> no? Okay. I wasn't sure. I didn't check all of your moves. No. Yeah, so go ahead okay. and just, yeah. Um, Let's do it. Roll Investigate Mystery. Investigate Mystery. Oh. Success. Ooh. A 10. So you get two questions, actually. Um, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? I start with, uh, what the hell happened here? Yeah. You're looking at the stalks of the corn, and it looks withered in a way of, like, life has been sucked out of it, almost. It's definitely not a fungus, and it hasn't been burnt. It, yeah, it looks like... Like dry? Yeah, dry as if, like, all of its life, life essence has been pulled out from the inside. But there, mm. there is some corn that's obviously still okay, but the withered parts are the black ones, the black parts. All right. Whatever happened here was natural. This ain't no corn disease I've ever seen, and I've seen a few. Yes, you, you do seem kind of corny. <laughs> Thank you for your commentary. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, second question. Uh, I don't know that we know this was a creature yet, so I don't know if any of these creature-related questions really make sense, so I guess I'm going to ask what is being concealed here. Yeah, so you're kind of like walking around the cornfield a bit, you're looking left and right, and you see on the ground like a very old stuffed bear, like antique level like from the 1900s looking old stuffed bear on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Hey, check this hey. out. What do you think this is all about? Oh, well, it's quite old, isn't it? Looks like maybe the 1910s or 20s or something. You can tell by the stitching and the, the, the type of eyes that are used to stitch it. That's fascinating. What's that turning in a place like this? Hey, uh, you're a magical items expert, is that correct? I, well, I don't know how to say expert. Well, yes, 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 I... Is this, is this thing magical? Um, I would like to investigate and see if I can tell yeah, if there's any sort I of think magic. It, it would just be like a regular use magic roll. Okay. So I would say hmm. use magic. Use magic. Okay, this is supposed to be my thing, so don't get a one. <laughs> <laughs> Lady. Oh, hey. Uh, okay, let me there just we go. see. Well, let me see. What? Let, hmm, let me examine this for a moment. Yeah, what does Danella. it I'll tell like, you. look like? Did, I mean, is there anything that she specifically does? Like, does, does it have a look to it? Or does she just, like, feel? Ah. Uh, what'd she do? She would probably, like, turn it around and kind of look at the, the stitching and the material and see if there's anything. And, like... Yeah, just kind of try to get a vibe for like the energy. She's she's big into vibes. She's she's a vibes kind of kind of person. So yeah. yeah. So your vibes right. are telling you that it's not a magical item, but there's definitely something paranormal about it. Like there's some like you can kind of feel like there's a a tie to some sort of entity. Like this object ties in some way, or it was meaningful to some entity. So it just has like just more paranormal energy than normal. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, I, I don't think that this is an item that specifically does anything like like can create magic, but there's definitely some sort of a connection to a, a paranormal creature. Like this was was meaningful to them, or perhaps even like an anchor into this world if it's something from from another realm. Not entirely sure. I'll have to take a closer look later, but it's 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 meaningful. Right. Any ideas, Rune? Does All that right. sound like something that might might uh, belong to a demon? <laughs> By any chance? A demon with a teddy bear? Uh, doubtful. Uh, maybe a victim, or perhaps a conduit. Mm. Um, out of curiosity, Rune will try to absorb the essence of some corn. Does it? What? Does it affect it the same way as this corn has already been affected? Yeah. Oh, it fuck. looks the same. Yeah. Uh, Birdsby, uh, get the long case if you could, uh, and Birdsby will bring him a very long case it looks like it might hold an oboe or something uh he clicks it open opens it up and it's an enormous two-handed great sword from the bronze age and he, uh, better safe than sorry uh <laughs> oh my, we are supposed to be scientists why are you taking that out let's uh, move make sure they can't see so, it in the house it's a sampling instrument he's gonna take some samples yes yeah, oh, so it's that's, a that's... basic cornology tool have either of you ever seen a scientist before no. Not alive. <laughs> oh, no. <God. laughs> All right. I'm just going to kind of like make sure that he's not in view. Like he's kind of behind some of the corn. I can't see from the house. I'm looking over like she's not coming out, is she? Okay. I think we're all right. Why do you think we need that? Because uh, whatever did this... Uh has some facsimile of my own power and that's scary what what exactly is your own power <laughs> yeah you never really explained it i'm innately better than everyone else uh, is the biggest thing but also i can steal people's essences their life essence steal essences Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, so take their vitality. Oh my! Never heard of that one in any of my books. Yeah, <laughs> that's, it, it's why I have to work for this organization because uh, otherwise, I'm a threat to humanity, and they'll kill me. Please. Yeah, it makes sense. They'd want to keep tabs on you. Yes, it does. I wonder who was doing it <laughs> for them. Anyway, um, so corn. Uh, <laughs> so uh, private eye. Uh, I what's gumshoe, the next step? Gumshoe. Well, got uh, some kind of object at the crime scene. We have uh, some kind of likely mechanism for what caused this, but we're lacking a motive. Like, why would someone want to draw circles in corn? Is it, is it a symbol understand. that, is it like some sort of a spell? Like, can you summon something with this symbol? If we, uh, if we, uh, go to the center of the symbol, right? That's how this magic bullshit works. You're trying to summon something, it's usually in the mail. We could read the sermon on the mount backwards, maybe. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem... I don't think that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check the middle. I mean, I was there. Got the gist of what he was saying pretty accurately. But, okay, yes. Yeah. Um, so the middle is actually kind of just... As you can see, there is, like, this little path. Um, yeah. And it's just like in the cornfield, a little bit off the path here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm gonna have just have someone do like an investigate or maybe do like a sharp. Sure, I guess I'm the investigatey boy. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Who's good at sharp? 
Take I do not have yeah, sharp. Yeah, roll like a sharp because it's like specifically like, what is different about this specific area that I want okay. you guys to see? Okay. Yeah. Love wow. It. Okay. Yeah. So because he rolled such a good roll, I'm going to say that you saw what Rune did and the way that he used his powers and the way that that corn looked. And you're kind of like compare, since you're a corn expert, you're comparing it with the, with, yes, with the <laughs> other corn and you're realizing whatever creature did this, it looks like, like shoddy, shoddy work. Like they fed on the life essence of this corn, but this isn't what they normally feed on. Like, it looks like this creature was desperate. And this area, sort of, you can tell, it just, the epicenter kind of gives these vibes. You're using, like, you know, your sharpness to, to notice that in this moment, this creature was so hungry and so desperate that it decided to feed on corn essence instead. I don't think this creature wanted to have to suck the essence of this corn. I think it would have preferred to have something a little more succulent, you know? Yeah, corn is peasant food. So so it must have been either either hurt or weakened in some way. Or trapped. Trapped so or something. Like, why wouldn't it just take the life essence of the farmer and his family? Doesn't make any sense. Unless it just it, as M Mr. Rune, sir, is there like another realm or something like that that demons inhabit? Is it difficult to get from here to there? Could the the journey to this plane have been a challenge for them or something? Should I roll something, Amy? Yeah, go ahead. Um, do, do, do. Would that be magic or? Uh, um. I feel like this is just like your previous knowledge, so I'm still just gonna have you roll sharp. Okay. Mixed success. Okay. You know that there are a lot of ways for demons to be tied or to make their way to the mortal realm, um, but you can't really tell how this creature made it or how this demon could have made it, because it's usually like the more powerful ones that are able to just like traverse the plane. Um, the lower demons, they would take some sort of pact or ceremony from someone very powerful. Yeah, you're, you're just not super sure, but you have an I ideas. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pass on that information. Um, do we know that that farm woman is the only one here or are there any so children around? she she mentioned her husband walter and her daughter abigail oh okay and the farm hand and, and the farm hand as well okay well if there's a teddy bear maybe we should go check in on abigail it was like as good a lead as any Sure. Not seeing anything else out here. Yeah. Um, so what's our story as cornologists? We need to check if her stomach girl, is okay. I found a teddy bear <laughs> and how to get out in the field. Well, we could also say that we need, you know, samples like saliva and things like that. Because if it's a bacteria, we want to make sure that it's not a bacteria that will affect humans, that it's just one that's affecting the plants. What are we going to do with her saliva? Well, I don't know. It's just an excuse to talk to her. Why I'll swab you... the inside of her mouth Hello, or something. Hello, girl. I need your spit. Now talk to me. <laughs> if we can check to see if there's a bacteria. I mean, we, if we were scientists, you really don't know anything about science. Oh, so I think uh, some technical issues on Amy's side. She said she had to plug in her laptop real quick. Oh, no, it's running on 1% battery. <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay. Okay. That did it. Okay, so we decide that we, uh, where are you going to find the little girl? Well, so well, I, we probably from here, I just want to say, from. <laughs> 
you, you, you okay um i was just gonna say from here yeah you could either go ask her mom like go through the front door but like on your way to the center of the corn circle you did notice there was like a little playground kind of thing in the backyard like a swing and like a sand pit you know just for like a little kid place okay so that's also you could just go straight to the little girl as well just be super creepy about it but <laughs> Well, I'll let the uh, more adept at human interaction people decide. Well, if she's playing out there and we've got a toy, I think we could maybe, you know, oh, hey, I heard, I heard that she, um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll go up to her. Yeah, I'm going to leave this to you. Uh, yeah, I think it's best kids. if maybe you two don't start talking quite, quite yet, all right? We're just going to, well, I mean, you can ask questions, but don't, don't scare her, all right? None of this talk of enemies or demons. Yeah, fine by me. I need. Okay, is she in the playground? Can we see as we walk yeah, out? Um, I'm going to have someone roll sharp again. Because you're like, asking a very specific question. I don't know what question you're asking. So, yeah, roll sharp to look. Okay. Because right now yeah. you don't see anything. It's kind of like, it's, it's actually pretty eerie right now. You know, the wind is blowing. And the, the thing that you notice, by the way, is that normally in cornfields, you can hear the corn rustling a bit. You, you can hear the sound of the corn rustling. It's very silent. Even the corn kind of isn't even making a noise. Um, but you can hear the ee, 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 ee of the swings of it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Amy, you're... At least on my end, coming in like kind of robotic. Yeah, get the garbles. Yeah, yeah. my um. I'll pay you back. My internet was being weird for the second there. Oh, huh. looks fine now. Yeah, Sounds okay. Fine. It's bad. yeah. I think you're good now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, just one of you maybe want to roll sharp because I'm bad at sharp. I only I got a plus one. I can roll it, but I said I was gonna let you go. Talk to well, you can kids. you can look to see if she's there first. All right. and then... I'm gonna pull out my binoculars. I'm look around. <laughs> <laughs> so sharp. Big success. Okay. Seven. Yeah, using your your detective skills, you notice <laughs> that the sand in the sandbox has been like freshly freshly sifted. So. <laughs> You all walk sort of towards the, the sandbox, and you're looking around, you're all staring at the sandbox, and then yeah, all of a sudden- Yeah, was definitely here. <laughs> all of a sudden, behind you, like directly behind you, hello, sir. Oh, <laughs> What are y'all uh, doing back here? And you looked, yeah, you turn around and you see, yeah, two, two long braids, sullen looking little girl, pretty skinny, you know, a very like a pale skin. Roughly, how old is she? About 12. About 12, okay. Oh, um, hello, darling. We are, we're scientists. We're here looking at your, your corn just to try to see what, what, um, what happened over there. But, you know, while we were in there, we found this little teddy bear. D does this belong to you by any chance? Oh, she kind of takes it and looks at it. Oh, yeah, this is Billy's. <laughs> this is Billy's bear. Billy? Oh, um, who's Billy? My Uncle Billy. I play with him all the time near the barn. But don't tell Mother. She says I'm not allowed near the barn. Your Uncle Billy? Um, wh why, why does he live in the barn? Uncle Billy likes the barn. I don't know why he lives there. Oh, um, okay, I, I... How old is your Uncle Billy? Um, I think it's about my age. Really? Well, that is quite fascinating. Um, is, is he... not allowed to leave the bar. He's not allowed to leave, I see. Um, is, is he nice to you? Does he, does he ever ask you to do strange things? No. We play hopscotch. And we have tea parties with our of our stuffed animals. I like the color. We just hang out. Oh, 
Well, that's that. That sounds very nice, doesn't it? You know what? Would would it be all right if I take this teddy bear and I and I'll go give it back to Billy for you? Okay, but well, I don't know if he'll like that you're touching his toy bear. He really likes that bear. Oh, um. Well, I'll 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 explain. I'll explain that we we found it for him and we're we're just trying to bring it back to him. All right. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, is the barn, is it out uh, behind the, the cornfield then? She just points towards the the barn. And it's it's down the path that you just went just a little further. You can kind of mm-hmm. see, like, peeking at the top, you can see it. Okay. All right, uh, well, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Um, You just, you stay over here. You stay by the house, all right? Okay. Then she'll run back to the sand pit. She's going to take her little toy plastic shovel. <laughs> the sand all right i'm gonna kind of motion for the, the guys to walk away a little bit um so so what are we thinking a, a restless spirit or something yeah it sounds like some creepy shit um yeah it sounds like a ghost maybe yeah is, is there is there any way that a demon could use the power of a ghost to manipulate a ghost or something like that I think so, I guess. I mean, I've told you what I know. Mm. Yeah, you're asking the wrong gumshoe. I don't know jack about magic, spirits, hauntings and shit. Stay away if I can, but seems to always find me. All right, well, um, I think we might as well go check out the barn, yeah? Not going to get anywhere else. Yeah, Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Um, um, I'm gonna just stop by my van and grab my sage and some crystals right. and stuff, and stuff my pockets with all my little, little spirity mumbo jumbo stuff. Good idea. Um, yeah. And then you walk towards the barn. Yeah, it's definitely in the back of the property. Um, this area is obviously not visited very often. Um, because the rest of the the rest of the farm is very well kept. I mean. Like I mentioned, like even the landscaping was immaculate. Um, but this barn is dilapidated. I mean, it looks structurally, like its structural integrity is very low. It's kind of scary to probably even walk in this barn. Um, very dirty in this area. Just the area around it is kind of foggy, even though the rest of the farm is not foggy. Like all of a sudden fog appears. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah. Well, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? Yeah, why well, has always got me a supernatural garbage, honestly? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of feel the hairs on your neck sticking up a little bit. Yeah, Ron's going to light some sage. <laughs> 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 kind of in front of her. I'm going wow. to draw out my, my revolver. Just, you know, just so in case it's a ghost that needs shooting. <laughs> on previous missions that I've been on with the SPA, SD, whatever this organization is, they just send me in first just because I'm not going to die. So we could do that. I could just walk. Are, are you volunteering? Yeah, that's fine. Um, Be my do, guest. Do you want the teddy bear? Um, what's the griminess level of this teddy bear? it's it's up there no <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, rune will walk into the fog and, and um try to make his way into the barn yeah there's like two double doors that you it like you know they slide open and you walk in and yeah it this barn looks like it was abandoned in a way that everything is set up as if someone was going to come in the next day, but then they just never came back. Um, so there's still like hay bales up in the loft and things are kind of set up, you know, there's tack on the walls and stuff like that, but everything's extremely dusty. There's dirt, you know, everywhere. It's spider cobwebs, whatever. It's people haven't gone in there in a while. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to take out my personal phone, which has, uh, 
Rowan's number on it when he was trying to sell stuff and send a text really quick. I'm seeing if this works. Uh, best rune. <laughs> send. Does does the text go through while I'm in here? Or is there yes. anything supernatural blocking it? Okay. It works. Uh, all right. He puts his phone away. Um, uh, Danny, uh, Uncle Danny, hello? You're like a, a watering can fall down in the back. Oh, um, this place is pretty gross. It's a weird <laughs> choice to, to live here. Um, hey, uh, could you help a guy out? Uh, your little niece uh, lives here and you like her is what I'm getting from the stories I've been told. And there's some like demonic shit happening. Hello. You can hear the creaking of the architecture. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, back outside, I turned to Rowan. Been in there a while. Well, Think he, Uncle Billy got him or whatever. Well, he did just text me. He said, I'm, I'm trying to see if this works. Doesn't mean the text or did you? something else. Yeah. What was he texting you for? I, I don't know. Maybe just to see if there's reception in there. All right. I'm going to send back me like, do you need us? Question mark. Best Rowan. <laughs> Dearest Rowan. Comma. <laughs> Uncle Danny is being very coy. Sincerely, <laughs> Rune. <Sam. laughs> All right. Well, well, he said that he apparently made contact or something, but the ghost is being coy. I think we should go in and try to talk to him. I think we need that teddy bear in there. I don't think the ghost is going to come out without it. No, I don't think so either. All right, well, here goes nothing, I suppose. Here goes nothing. I'll follow her in. All right. Um, when you go in, do you present the bear at all? Or are you just going to keep it concealed for a bit? Do you say no, I, I don't think I want to, like, try to trick him. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold it out and be like... Hello, uh, little, little Billy, was that your name? I found your bear. Would you like it back? I wasn't trying to take it, I just found it. Yeah, a ball is going to fall down and sort of, you know, like, t -t 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 and roll towards you. Okay, um, w w would you like to play? Oh, is that what you'd like? I'm gonna put the teddy bear kind of, like, close to the ball. And then, like, take a step back. A couple steps back. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's investigate a mystery. Okie doke. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. I'm... Uh, who's rolling? All right. <laughs> I need to just not roll. <laughs> okay. I failed. Um, I don't know shit. All right. So on a miss, you, so you have re, you have revealed yourself. Um, so when you sit down the bear, um, all of a sudden a pitchfork falls from the loft and lands straight down in the into the ground, and then. I assume that you guys had walked further into the barn. Um, so behind you, uh, like 10 feet, 10, 15 feet, um, the two doors slam shut. And then these little like weird corn demon things start to appear from the Ooh. shadows, you know, out of the hay behind, uh, you know, like one of the saddles and stuff. And there, yeah, there's about, we'll say like about eight of them and they all appear out of nowhere. They don't have eyes, but they do have teeth and they're like, oh, what the and they fuck? kind of start. 
to slowly walk towards you. And oh I'll my. probably stop it there because it's late. But yeah. Oh no! Bunch of weird <laughs> corn <laughs> demons. Corn demons! They're, they're not like corn. Awkward, they're the same size of corn. <laughs> Literally, children oh, of okay. corn. <laughs> Yeah, they so are small. Like they are the size of corn. They are literally corn. You know, just they have features. <laughs> Thank teeth. you, Lord. Oh, no. And I guess oh. also feet. <laughs> <laughs> stock feet. Corn stock feet. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Rune hates corn. <laughs> it's well, luckily, yeah. you, have you just it's You just feed it to your horses and cows. That's all it's good for. Does he call it peasant food? No, it's coming Corn is no now place for my Now you the food of the peasant food. <laughs> what does that make you? <laughs> yeah, if we lose a battle to corn, that's going to be quite a blow to the ego. <laughs> <laughs> to the peasants, they're revolting. I really yep. hope that you guys don't get killed by corn. <laughs> I mean, no. Rune won't, because Rune is literally indestructible, but... yeah. I, honestly, if this we start losing to these little fuckers, I'm just burning the place down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can I can try magic, but we'll we'll see how I roll. I'm not tough. I'll just we'll just say that I'm super not tough, but that's okay. Oh, Figure it out. Yeah. I can't remember if it was on Colt Billy or Danny. Or Billy. something. Else. Billy. 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 Okay. It was Billy. Yes. Oh, okay. Rune no, would say, a... "Oh, I thought you were saying it wrong on purpose." Oh, I actually did too. I thought you were saying it wrong on purpose because <laughs> like, uh, he... Danny. You can't get anyone's name right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, him doing that gives me permission to not pay attention to the names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which there are a lot of names. So. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Abigail is the little girl. Yeah. I'd already forgotten that. <laughs> Billy is the, the ghost. There's something. Game. Uncle Billy. Oh, Uncle Billy. Uncle Billy. We might need to go ask the mom what happened to her brother. Or maybe so. it'll be the, the, the dad. I don't know. We'll see. We will have to see. But yeah, talking to mom's probably not a bad idea. If we can get out of here alive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we got to find some little corn minions first. Mm -hmm. Well... <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. I yeah. love how, as usual, this is supposed to be like a one shot. Like, oh yeah, it'll take like twenty minutes probably, and here we are. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I it's I didn't we roll. expect the the beginning part to last so long. It's, <laughs> I didn't realize how difficult it what it would be to get everyone together. If, yeah, um, it's tough. That's always a tricky thing yeah, to get sort of kick off, tricky. especially when it's like, I don't know. I probably one. should have been Three a little more compliant, people. but I'm like, oh. No, I don't. Wanna... I think it would have been against your character. Yeah, yeah, it would have been against your character, character to be like, yeah, sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll just get into this strange person's cart, even though you know. But in the end, it's like, okay, well, we gotta, we gotta go somewhere. So I was lured in with antiques and whiskey, so. Yeah, that whiskey helped. <laughs> and I have not gotten any antiques yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sophie okay. told me not to come back without, you know, cool stuff. Maybe you can, you'll end up with that teddy bear. <laughs> no, I kind of hope not. A very fine a antique cursed, pitchfork. It gets cursed teddy bear. You. That's a big thing on eBay, people selling cursed dolls. It is. It really is. Somehow I'm unsurprised. I know. <laughs> when we were in Vegas, we went to the Haunted Museum, which is like a huge oh. collection of like cursed things. Oh. It was Gosh. very interesting. Very, very huh. interesting. If we ever go to Vegas, Sarah will 1,000% want to go there. Oh, my gosh. It, it It's Honestly, like a long too. tour. Yeah. It's a long tour, but it was so interesting. <laughs> but, like, be for Sarah, like, she's going to feel the energy there. Just warn her. It's a lot. It's heavy. There are especially, okay, one of the rooms, there's something called a Dybbuk box, which is, like, this basically an ancient Jewish curse box. And you have to like watch this video before you go in it. And it's like, it's this box and it's been contained in like a few inches of glass. It's got salt around it. And then like the glass has like etched Hebrew prayers around it. And you just like walk around it. You don't stop in the room because it's like 
shit has happened. Anyway, it's yeah. Oh my God. It, it is interesting. It, it is it is lots of heebie-jeebies. The whole place is lots and lots of heebie-jeebies. Mm. It's an interesting collection of stuff. God, that sounds awesome. Cool. It was so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I've like never really had an interest in going to Vegas, but now you kind of make me want to go and see this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same. Yeah, it's like it's off the strip a little ways. So apparently all the good places are like off the strip, you know, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, the strip is fun for like touristy stuff. But like if you actually want to go like see Vegas, you got to get off the strip. Ooh. Anyway. Well... Well, I guess we've got another cliffhanger. Sorry, Christian. I don't know if you're still here, but <laughs> Christian in the chat was, I was well, mentioning this earlier. He's always like, I need to know what the cliffhanger is for <laughs> Desert Nights. So what do you play Desert Nights next? Okay. I Brian, don't know, but Brian knows what the big box is. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't mess around with those. Yeah, dare find corn that. on their favorite terrain. <laughs> on their favorite they terrain. Get advantage. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> oh no. Yikes. Well, I'm intrigued. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. It's funny too, because like my dude is like he's a gumshoe, but he's not magical at all. He's like negative magical. So mm -hmm. it's like I don't want to do about all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I just I shoot a guy, I bring home the perp, but uh Can't yeah. shoot a ghost. Ghosts. No. I guess you can try to shoot the corn, but I will try to shoot the corn. What if it's like one of the you just shoot it and it just like kinda goes back together, you know? I guess we're screwed, I don't know. <laughs> It would be kind of corn. funny, though, to be like, all right, Hank, we got the perp, and then you just bring him, like, ten years of corn, and he's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> be a while before we have corn on the cob at the office. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Time to pop this corn. Oh, my gosh, there's, there's so many puns. There's synergy there's... with the blockbuster next door. Okay, <laughs> that is to too good. <laughs> <laughs> Any of those lines, I could see it in a Marvel movie. Right, now. <laughs> right? Captain American. Time to cream this cord. <laughs> Amy, All your right. descriptions of like the haunting, it was so good. It's so like like Oh really? Yeah. That was very eerie. I, yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. The, ball yeah, the creaking like, and the ball. Yeah. No, that was good. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I, guess I guess we'll, we'll be doing this again. <laughs> yeah. And see you maybe next week. Maybe so, next week. Hopefully next week, yeah. Yeah, I must say maybe, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think so. Looks favorable, Magic Eight Ball says. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, I'm excited for more spooky corn. Spooky, spooky corn. corn. Yeah. Yay. Solve this mystery. Yeah. Heck yeah. I really Get do paid. love the aesthetic of of like spooky cornfield. Me. Yeah. That's it's a good <laughs> that's aesthetic. The it's too bad it's not yeah, it's too it's too bad it's not dark because it makes it less spooky, but it, it will be dark at some point. So the mm. pentagram crop circle is very good. Yeah, super good. <laughs> super corny, but super good. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. Alright. Well, later, right, guys. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming, for coming out, y'all, yeah. for something a little different. That was fun, and thanks, yeah. Amy, for running the first half of this. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, stuff. you're so good at DMing. Keep it, please, Kyle. <laughs> keep Stay it. on brand. You're such <laughs> a good like, you're so good. You should keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a good gold. Let player. me play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. See you, guys. Catch you next time.